in my studies, I, I, I was studying from the King James Version, but I'm going to read from the Spirit Field. It'll give you the same. Starting at the 37th verse, it said, On the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. I want to go on to 39. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit, whom those believing in him would receive, for the Holy Spirit was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. Somebody say, I thirst. I thirst. That word thirst is a sensation of dryness in the mouth related to a desire to drink. It is a desire to drink. It is an ins insistent desire or craving or a demanding desire or craving. I want it. I got to have it. To feel a need to drink, to be thirsty, to have a strong desire, the crave, or the yearning. Can I tell you what I thirst for? There is a thirst to be anointed with fresh oil. I desire a fresh wind the very breath of God to breathe yes. in our pulpits, yes. upon our pastors, yes. and upon the people of God. Yes. Why do we need that, Pastor? I'm glad you asked. We need it because people are no longer sorry for sins. They are commit. They are committing. They're no longer sorry for the sins they are committed. Conviction is rare. Almost extinct. How is it that a whole city, except for four people, would be destroyed because of their sinful actions and attitudes? Y'all know the story of God, the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. The scripture tells us in 2 Peter, I need some help. Somebody, if you could help me out with scriptures here. 2 Peter 2 and 7. Just start reading it when you get it. And delivered just not, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Mm -hmm. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous are they, okay. self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignity. Whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, bring not real an accusation against them before the Lord. Okay, that's good. That's good. I want you to focus on verses 7 and 8. That Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Yes. And verse 8 says, For that righteous man dwelling among them, in seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Yes. Lot was irritated. Yeah. He was annoyed. It bothered him. Yes. Is anybody bothered today? Yes. Is anybody bothered today? Yes. Is anybody annoyed today? Yes. Yes. Now the sins of the world. Yes. Yes. Are we annoyed with the immoral behavior of our world today? Is anybody thirsty? I want to demonstrate something. 
here real quick. I need three, no offense, three thin people. I was like, oh my God. Two guys, one female to fit together. That'll be all right. Lot was vexed by the filthy conversation. Y'all need to get in. Why did I use this black? It represents the darkness. It represents sin. Why did I put on this? Because I'm righteous. But see, Lot lived in Sodom and Gomorrah. And every day, when he went out, he had to hear the filthy conversation of the wicked. Yes. Huh? He was surrounded by wickedness. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. He was annoyed by it. Shook up over anybody. Shook up. This is what we do. Oh, yeah. Huh? We go amongst it. Uh -huh. That's a gospel. We go amongst it. Yeah. Huh? And then we get stressed. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. We begin to let down. Yeah. Uh, we can't get out of it. But we get in a mix of sin. Uh -huh. And we listen to the filthy tongues. Uh -huh. 
watched the sitcom myself, but I've seen the previews of it. He downplayed pastors. Come on, somebody. It's mighty quiet. I ain't trying to get all in your business, trying to tell you what to watch. But come on, somebody. We take enough heat.
put the water in the bags. It still didn't dawn on me until this morning on my way in. <laughs> Yes. Huh? Yes. 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 Yes.
Jesus. Every time I come into something that I ain't never had before, I say, Lord, I'm going to put this before you. Huh? It ain't worth nothing. Because when I leave here, it's standing there. to lead and guide to one 
warn and convict. Yeah. Come on, listen. That's all right. But we have silenced him. We have silenced him. Yes. The same way we do our cell phones. We put him on silence. We turn him off. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? He sends us a text. Y'all don't hear me. He sends us a text. But we ignore the text. We won't even read. You know, sometimes I get a text message. I told Pastor a couple of days ago, I said, Pastor, did you get my text? I'm guilty too, man. We do the Holy Ghost the same way. And he's he's sent us a text and we ignore the text. I want to read 
reads. I took this from the Bible knowledge commentary. It reads, one of the Spirit's new ministry was to convict the world of guilt in regard to sin and righteousness and judgment. Huh? I heard somebody praying one time. And I heard these words coming from their mouth when he's praying for my children. This is what we do. Let me talk to the young ladies for a little bit. This is the women, right? That's That's the guy. You look across the. Don't act like y'all. Come on now. All right now. Preach it. All right now. When you look across the parking lot. All right. They got a line suit. <laughs> that pecan colored film. <laughs> Come on. I see there was a woman at the wedding. She had a problem. 
And you know what? Just to wrap this up, she she had already had five husbands. Uh -huh. Working on number six. Yes. I just kind of turned my relevation on, Pastor. <laughs> and she might have thought in her mind, I'm going to keep on looking until I find Mr. Wright. Come on, somebody. Guys, you ain't all. Yeah, you. See, we got all kind of thirst. She had a thirst. Yes, yes. Apparently for me. Listen, guys. I think it was Solomon that warned you about going down the wrong path to that foolish woman.
I'm going to give you living water. That you thirst. No more. Now understand something. We drink water. We get thirsty. We drink some more water. And somebody already said we get thirsty. We drink more. But this living water that he speaks of, pouring from our bellies, living water. Yes. Huh? What he was saying to her is those men that you decide. See, 
We got all kind of thirst. She had a thirst. Apparently for me. Listen, guys. I think it was Solomon that warned you about going down the wrong path That's right. to that That's foolish woman. Let's see my husband with the famous part. 